in this box is the Zeo patch. Oh, that burns. Look at my chest, it's turning red. Why? <sighs> Apply immediately. Tim here from Getting Epic. So I just received this package in the mail. Came from Rhythm Technologies. I'm going to show you how I'm gonna put on my Zeo patch. I recently went and saw my cardiologist for my hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And during my echo, I was having a lot of PBCs. Like every few seconds, I had a PBC. I don't know if I was just nervous, laying on the table, it was just uncomfortable. If the woman's hands were just cold, I have no idea. So my doctor wants me to wear this Zeo patch for I think seven days. Then he's gonna take these results and make the ultimate decision if I'm gonna need another cardiac ablation surgery. The scary part about the surgery for me is I currently have a single lead ICD. If I have this surgery, most likely it's gonna become a double lead ICD. If not, a fully functional pacemaker because where my main issue is happening is next to another node, which if you watch my other video, one of my nodes was already removed during my septal myectomy surgery I had just two years ago. I know for a fact I'm gonna have to shave my chest because I've worn one of these before. The hospital that I usually go to puts it on for me. My doctor moved to another hospital and they didn't do it for me. So I'm a little disappointed that I have to do this myself because I have no idea what the frig I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to read the instructions and figure it out. Before I open this, I'm gonna run upstairs real quick, take a five minute shower, shave my whole chest, just wipe out that hair, both sides, because I don't want it to be lopsided. In the hospital, they only shave one side usually, and then you're like lopsided. Then I go home and I have to shave it myself. <laughs> the reason I'm gonna shower as well is you generally don't wanna shower for 48 hours until after the patch has really been on you. And even after that, I'm scared of taking a hot shower because the adhesive, you know, under extreme heat would probably just melt and come off. I'm sure you could put a plastic bag over it like they do in the hospital, but that is just so uncomfortable and so much extra work. Luckily, I work from home, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. Maybe not shower for a few days. Ew, gross. I know, whatever. All right, let's uh, get this put on. Bear right back. All right. Oh, by the way, this shirt is what I'm gonna wear for Halloween, and that's just T minus two days. Hopefully no one has any scary costumes that's gonna set off this heart monitor. Ha 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 ha. Chest is shaved, I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna take off this shirt until I need to. <laughs> so, boom, boom. Open this bad boy up. So here, here's the box. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. I don't wanna break this box, come on. All right, cool. So everything looks like it's in the shrink wrap bag. Patient guide, apply immediately. Open this up. Ready? Let's see if it makes noise. Skin prep and placement kit. There's the Zeo patch right there. Here comes the fun part. Let's uh, take off the shirt. I am so sorry that you have to look at my chest. Sorry for looking at my boobs. Feel so naked. Where's my hair? See, it's not us. Shaved it down myself. I don't know how this works because I have my ICD. Locate the area left on your chest with one finger, below the collar, and slightly left of the center of your chest. So here's the center, because there's a clear line. Collar, come over here like this. And you will prepare this area to provide materials. Number two, prep the skin. Shave the prep area. Well, let me tell you folks, they provide you a razor. It's made out of plastic and it's got a really small blade on it. Look at that thing. Not the most comfortable thing in the world. 
but it does the basic task. Well, I already did that part, so whatever. I was comfortable, I used shaving cream. I'm feeling pretty happy about that. Next part, to use this sandpaper-like material, 40 strokes across the area, all right? So you need to go across, down, diagonal, up, diagonal down, all right? So 10 times each equal 40. Like, look, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that is sandpaper. All right, best part of my day. Be sure to apply some pressure. Yay! All right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, yep, I just got my scar. That sucked. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Like dry skin's flaking off. I wonder if that's the reason for this. I'll tell you one thing, it burns. All right, let's go diagonal now. Two, three, four, eight. You might see me doing a lot of extra strokes. I'm just paranoid because the first time I ever wore this, after like day four, the thing nearly fell off. And I literally had to tape it on myself with some medical tape. So if I can try my best to get this to stay on, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that burns. All right, <laughs> next step. After you rip up your skin, wipe the area with alcohol for one minute. Give you four pads. Time to go to town again. Oh my God, that fucking burns. And then my chest is now turning red. Oh, that burns. Look at my chest, it's turning red. Ever used like peroxide before on like a cut? That's what it feels like. Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I inflicting pain? Do I need to do all four of these ex alcohol wipes? Damn it. There's that pain again. <sighs> Why am I doing this right now? I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. All right. Got two more. Let's, let's muscle through it. Burn. I think I'm good here. So now it says wait one minute for the area to dry. I'm gonna stop the camera real quick and wait that one minute. It's been one whole minute. Look at this side compared to this side. It's very red. Skin prep, we shaved, which we did that in the shower. We used our sandpaper, which hurt like all effing crazy. Then we used alcohol which was just stupid, like, oh, it still burns. Step number three, remove clear backings of the Zeo patch. Zeo patch. So it says, put it up, stop. Did you use a sandpaper? Yes, I did. That's a very important step, I assume. So when I remove this, I have to make sure the arrow is sticking up and I have to place it on and then I have to rub it with my skin, remember? My collarbone is right here, and I wanna come down, but my middle is right here. Problem is, is I have an ICD right here, and I can feel it. It's a big metal thing, and it stops right there. I'm supposed to put it up here and put it on top. If I put it on top, is it gonna pick up the ICD every time the ICD moves? And will it even pick up the heart because it has to go through the ICD? I'm thinking I need to put it down underneath the ICD. So I'm gonna take the giant leap and say, yes, I need to put it down here further. Hell, if the doctor needs me to do this again, I'll do it again. I I think this is it. It's so close to my nipple. How does that look? Does that look okay? I'm gonna take this off and put it on and hopefully it's good. It's getting serious now. Time not to screw this up. All right, now I'm afraid to even touch this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, I put it down. I guess that's it. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of uncomfortable. I put it on my nipple. <laughs> Look, it's on my nipple, my areola. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but like legit, the ICD ends right here. So I probably could have come up just a little bit, 
but I don't think it would have mattered very much. So the instructions say to rub into the skin for two minutes. I'm gonna set my watch timer for two minutes. I think they're looking for you to apply heat. Honestly, this is really uncomfortable already. It's like, it's grabbing my boob. Seven days, seven days. I want it up here, I want it up here. If you think about it, when you pledge allegiance to the flag, it's like, what, right here? It's pretty close. Two minutes lasts forever. Be honest, I did a lot more of the sandpaper up here. I should, probably should have done more down there. I hope I didn't just screw it up. How much time we got? All right, we're good. All right, next step. Peel the labels, starting with one and then two. All right, there's one. Ooh, this just doesn't feel right. Why would I want to take this off? Like, uh, whatever. All right, and then number two. I think that white thing was supposed to come with it. Yeah. All right, like that. Now it says to rub it more, rub two more minutes. All right, two hours. No, I'm not setting my timer for two hours. F that. Really applying heat here. If this ever falls off or you're gonna work out or do anything, I found a great tip to use KT tape and you just put it over, you know, one on either side. And it does not bother my stitches at all or my scars at this point. So by Wednesday, Thursday, I'll check this out and see if anything's starting to move around. If it is, I'll toss on two pieces of KT just to try to get through the remainder of the week. Because honestly, if I have to wear this, I want to get the best results possible. Most people would say, I don't want to get any bad results, so I just want to take it off. Well, this is your health. This is your life. You get one life. You might as well freaking take care of it and take advantage of when they can give you stuff like this. So do your best. 10 seconds. Feels like an eternity. Next step, I'm looking at the instructions. Say to turn it on. I'm gonna push this button right here. Wouldn't it suck if it didn't turn on? I got some wood in front of me. Knock the wood because I'm gonna jinx myself by saying that. All right, now I'm gonna push the button to activate. It will flash green and begin recording your heartbeat. Can I lower my desk a little bit? I got a stand up desk, by the way. Whoop. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, there's a green light blinking. That's a good sign. Is that it? That's it. My Zeo patch is officially on. I love this desk. This desk is awesome. So this is how you use it. So anytime I'm feeling dizzy, I'm having palpitations, just I feel funny in general at all. All I do is come over where I turn this on, I hit the button once. Ready? It makes a clicky noise, and I just logged that I'm having symptoms. I come over to my log here, or I'm going to download the app. I have an example here. I'm going to put in the date that my symptom came about, the time of day. I pushed the button because I felt anxious. You had arm or neck pain. You had chest pain or pressure. You felt dizzy. That's when I check off a lot. You felt faint. I checked that one off a lot because that kind of goes with the dizziness. Lightheadedness, once again, that goes with the whole dizziness. Pounding of the heart. I get that all the time. That comes along. I get fluttering, yes. Racing of the heart, yes. Shortness of breath, yes. Skip beats, mm-hmm. And then other. The other category I'm interested in because lately I've noticed in the morning hours I get occasional like squeezing of the heart. Like someone just came over and squeezed my heart and is trying to like juice my heart. But then they stop. It's like the movies are like, go in, take out your heart. That's what it feels like, I don't know. How long does this last? You know, one minute or less, 10 minutes or less, one hour or more, stuff like that. And then um, they wanna know what you're doing. This example said, getting out of bed. And then that's it. So you fill out some basic information and it's a pretty big log book. It's lots of pages. And once you're all set with the whole week, what you're gonna do is you're then gonna remove this Zeo patch 
and they're gonna stick it right here. All right, there's a little diagram. You plop it on, close it, shove it in the box, put it in the mail, you're done. You wait the results. You should check out this video right here. I strongly recommend it. Until next time, this is your life. What are you doing with it? Let's go do something that we can be proud of. Be sure to take care of your health. You only get one life. Hopefully your heart is going good and you're healthy. Take care of yourself, please. Peace out, everyone. Bye.